Hello guys, today I'm going to extract carbamazepine uh, from its pills. Uh, I need it for some research, so I bought uh, this from a uh, drugstore. First, I'm going to take all of them out. Now I'm going to, now I'm going to take all the pills out and gather them in this speaker like this. And 500 carbamazepin pins later we are going to powderize these pills. I'm going to use this uh, blender to powderize the pills. Sorry for the noise. Oh yeah, that did a good job. Okay, I'm going to powderize the rest of them and I will be back. Okay, well, I powderized all of them. And I spilled a little bit of it. Okay. Here I have around uh, 400 milliliters of methanol. I'm going to add the uh, powderized kills the solution I weighed uh, carbamazepine pills, they weighed around 286 milligrams and every one of them contains around 200 milligrams of carbamazepine so I had a total of 500 pills and therefore I am expecting around 100 grams of carbamazepine but first, we have to remove all the fillers and uh, other stuff. For that, we are leaving it to a steel. Uh, most of carbamazepine will dissolve in methanol. Then we are going to filter it. And then we are going to concentrate the solution under vacuum at room temperature so uh, then the concentrated product will be 
uh, crystallize from the mixture of ethanol and water. It has been around one hour since I started stirring the, uh, the mixture. So I'm going to just turn off the uh, stirrer and let the let it settle down and then I'm going to decant it or filter it then we can move to the next step it settled down but it's kind of murky I'm going to decant it in this beaker I will put aside this part and I will deal with it later. very clear now so for the next step I'm going to evaporate the excess solvent and then move forward for crystallization Okay guys, I originally I wanted to remove the solvent and uh, do a recrystallization in water and ethanol but now I am seeing just kind of some kind of crystals I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not but some kind of crystals are forming at the bottom of the uh, of this flask I'm thinking what if I concentrate uh, this solution probably to half the volume and then let it see it maybe it can form crystals so I'm gonna go ahead and do that first but but, but I think that is a win-win because if it didn't form crystals if it is not going to form crystals then I will remove all the solvent but if it it is going to form crystals so I can just collect the crystals and be done with it okay so I'm going to do that I transferred a portion of the original solution to that flask so I can or remove the solvent I'm just going ahead and removing most of the solvent and reducing the volume maybe to less than the half I concentrated the solution to around 250 milliliters and I'm going to just uh, cap it and let it in the can and uh, put it in the fridge and I process the rest I wash the rest of the powder with the with another 400 milliliter, milliliters of uh, methanol and I again okay, filtered it and I'm going to put all of this into the fridge 
hopefully by tomorrow I can get some crystals out of it and then I will move to this one and uh, process it it has been around 24 hours since I put the product in the refrigerator to crystallize and it has formed very nice uh, and white crystals even though the solution is just kind of uh, murky I'm just going ahead and uh, filter it and then I will deal with the rest of the solution I will probably run it down again on the vacuum to have the volume and let it crystallize again uh, but for the sake of a uh, demonstration I think this is just enough so if you want to do that to extract carbamazepine from its spilt it is just enough to crush them and let them stir with enough methanol at room temperature and then uh, concentrate the methanol to the half or one third of the initial volume and let it to crystallize uh, for the selection of the uh, solution volume you can just use uh, SCC per 80 milligrams of the carbon must be thank you guys I will filter it and uh, I will uh, show you the final product transferred all of the crystals in there and I put some cold methanol to wash them and I crushed all the uh, big chunks big chunks to smaller size so they can be washed transferred all of the crystals in there and I put some cold methanol to wash them and I crushed all the uh, big chunks big chunks to smaller size so they can be washed
Okay guys, I finished the process. The, sec the first run that I did, I obtained uh, this around 20 grams of carbamazepine. It is kind of off-white, but the second run is this one. Very shiny and white crystals. Okay. So, I think this one is either has some impurities or it is crystallized in a different uh, crystalline lattice. I'm not sure. If you know that, comment down below. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for your attention and your time. Please like, share and subscribe.